Amen. And then he said, it is finished. It is finished. As it was said, all of these things were prophesied. And then it is finished. In John, the same chapter, verse 30, it says, when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. He bowed his head and he gave up his spirit, as has been said many times on this morning. It is finished. In the other parables, it doesn't, it doesn't say that. It says the other three don't tell us that Jesus said it is finished. But here in John, it does tell us that it says it is finished. This is not a weary defeat. He didn't say that in weary. He said it as a shout of joy, even though he was thirsting, even though he was in pain, there was a glory and a grace that is included in the words, it is finished. When I looked up the word finished in the Greek, it means to be complete. It means to an end. It means accomplished. It means to be spent. It is finished. He cried. He made, he said, uh, end is being made of, it's paid, it's performed, it's accomplished, it's an end, it is done, it is finished. Our sins, our guilt, it's all paid for, paid in full, it is finished. Yes, Lord. It was performed, it is finished. Once again, that, 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 those three words, it is finished. It carries a glory, it carries a grace, it is finished. The law which had been broken was satisfied. Jesus didn't break the law, but he was here to fulfill the law. This is a courtroom of heaven terminology. Every legal obstacle to man's redemption was removed. It is finished. It is finished. What it's not, I thank God for the, the Canaan of scripture and all of the sayings prior to this one that we can take the it is finished and walk into this day called today, understanding that it is finished. Every torment of the enemy is being exposed by the power of God, by the power of the cross, by the blood of Jesus, every drop that dehydrated him to thirst. It is finished because he endured. He endured not for himself, but for the sake of us. It is finished. What was formed before the foundation of the world, it is finished. Glory. It is finished. I found a footnote in the Passion Translation of this verse where it's saying that this word finished is fulfilled. It's also the same word bride. Come on. It is finished. I'm preparing a bride for myself. It is finished. This footnote went on to say that Jesus finished the work of our salvation for his bride. Yes, and although the completed work of salvation was finished on the cross, he continues to work through his church, through us, through the bride today. We are the bride of Christ. It is finished and we are being prepared. Every spot, wrinkle, and blemish is being washed away with the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary. It is finished and he continues to work in us to accomplish all that the cross and the resurrection have purpose for us, his bride. See the cross fulfilled and finished the prophecies of the Messiah's first coming on the earth. And there was nothing written that was to be fulfilled and offered unto the bride. Check out Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. It is one of my favorite verses. Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. I'm decreeing it out of the Amplified Bible for us on this morning. It is finished. What it's finished. It is finished that I can now send you another. His name is the Holy Spirit. He's going to comfort you. He's going to be there for you. It is finished. My portion is done. And now I'm sending in the next player, the Holy Spirit. He's the active agent of the Godhead in the earth realm for such a time as this. And Revelation 22, 17 says the Holy Spirit and the bride. See, the Holy Spirit and that which I came to fulfill, the church, the true Christians, as the Amplified says, they say, come and let him who is listening come and let everyone who is thirsty. Come on, Jesus thirsted and we may have thirst too. I love the Amplified explains what that thirst is that we, the bride, that we, the church will experience. Let everyone who is painfully conscious of his need of those things by which the soul is refreshed, it's supported, it's strengthened and whoever earnestly desires to do it, 
Let him come, let him take, let him appropriate and drink the water of life without cost. It may not cost us anything, but it bankrupted heaven. It may not cost us anything, but it, it, it is the water that comes, rivers of living water that the Holy Spirit desires for us to walk in. It is finished, gave us access to understand that we have Christ within us, the hope of glory. It is finished, gave us access to understand that it is in him that I live and move and have my being. He finished some things on my behalf so that I can walk it out while I'm yet in the earth realm. It is finished is my portion and I shall walk in it and God shall get the glory to each and every one of us that's on the line. It is finished, the mental torment. It is finished. Every assignment of the enemy is not a, a null, annihilated right now. It is finished. I shall walk with a sound mind. It is finished. Fear is not my portion. Love is my portion and it has no torment. It is finished. I am the wild that's walking in the earth realm for such a time as this. It is finished. I am empowered to walk in every word that was released on this morning. It is finished. Yes, Lord. Let me take a sidebar. Last year, the word that God gave me was compound revelation and abundant grace, meaning everything that I have been exposed to in the word in the last two to three decades in the word. He said, I'm going to take it. I'm going to compound it. And you're going to see it in a new light in this time and in this season. And then because of the many revelations, I'm giving you grace. I'm giving you grace because the buffeter is coming. That's his job. It tells us in scripture, but it is finished. I don't care what the enemy tries to do, the afflictions, even though I thirst, it is finished. Thank you for the support at the cross that comes from those that are there. And I'm even preparing for others, but it is finished. I am yet alive in the land of the living to decree and declare that it is finished. My portion is wholeness. My portion is uprightness. My portion is to be a conduit for the glory of heaven to manifest in the earth realm everywhere that I go. When I walk in Walmart, the light needs to shine for me that it is finished. It is finished. And as many of us are spending time with family and friends and, and church events on this weekend, we are the church. You're not going to the church. You're bringing your church to the church. It is finished. All of the X's on my back, all of the low self-esteem, all that other stuff. It is finished. You have set me in the earth realm for such a time as this to decree and declare some things. So I will no longer be milly mouth. I will decree and declare it is finished. No longer low living, but living to bring the glory to God. Because he lives, I live. It is finished. And I pass the baton to saying number seven, amen. It is finished. Amen. Praise the Lord. We give God the glory. We give God the honor. We give God the praise this morning. Hallelujah. We give God, amen. We thank the Lord for 